Hi, it's Broadwater's Rattery here. We're just making a quick video uh, about our starter cage for our Gambian pouched rats. So in here we have Tanji and Kanzi, as you can see. Um, at this point, they're three months old. They're not tame, not bonded to us, and we've had them for literally five days. So their starter cage is half of a double metal cage. This one is a cozy pet uh, with only one opening door. You can get Pet Planet cages, Liberta Explorer, and the Savic Royale suite. There's, there's lots of different uh, models of double uh, metal cages. Um, some have plastic trays, some have metal. This one has a full metal bottom in here which we've carpeted with carpet tiles um, so that there is no issue with bedding, allergies, sneezing and all that. Uh, it's also pretty easy to keep clean. Their toilet area is a cat litter tray with bio catolet and a large croc heavy bowl with some water in it. Pouch rats tend to like to poo in water and it's thought that maybe the reason behind that is that it hides their scent. They have like a bird feeder here with some suet type things, some millet and some nuts and stuff and then just some hanging toys and a um, honey and seeds treat thingy. Then they've got a suet candle that's made from um, squished peanuts and mealworms, mainly. It's called a candle. So a lot of the stuff that you get for um, African pouched rats is actually parrot stuff and from the bird sections of the pet shop. Um, they have mainly a uh, parrot mix. It's got like pomegranate seeds and stuff like that. Their diet's pretty heavy in nuts and seeds. <clears throat> and they have uh, a lesser amount of rat mix. Mostly it's um, bird orientated type diet. For their dry mixes, they eat a lot of nuts and seeds, a lot of fruit. They prefer fruit that's a bit gone over, over ripe. They've also got um, some shredded like fleece off cuts from where I've been making rat hammocks they've got all the off cuts for the fleece and to make a little nest with over there they've also got a t-shirt from myself that I've been wearing and a t-shirt from Emma that she's been wearing um, which is helping with the bonding they've got a lion teddy which is made by Kong <laughs> And I hope they don't destroy it. And they're not destroying it, they're just sleeping with it. They quite like it. I think it feels like another body next to theirs. So, and we got them a lion because obviously lions are African, so there's a pun in there somewhere. This rope toy is also a parrot toy. And then they have for a bed, which they don't use right now, uh, like a cat bed. Excuse the squeaking in the background, that's the Duprazi having a little scuffle. And then this carrier here, which has also got some offcuts of material in it just for a bed. Um, if you can see, oh hi, we've attached a chain to hold the um, lid open. The reason for that is that if one of the girls goes to sleep in there, we can unclip this from the outside and lower the lid because bearing in mind that these aren't tame um, we haven't got the luxury of being able to just safely reach in, grab one, pick it up and get it out for exercise this is the reasoning behind having what is actually a pretty small cage for a giant pouched rat you would usually um, have a cage at least double this so they would have the run of an entire um double for either one pouch strat or a pair of them uh, they need plenty of space plenty of climbing opportunity 
um, but this is what we're using as like a starter cage while we're still bonding with them. Hi. This is Tanji. Hello. We've just had them out in the playpen. She's been doing really, really well. Hi. You're so brave. You can't come out though. No. No, no, no. Um. <laughs> She's acting like she's completely tame, isn't she? You're probably thinking, what are you talking about? This rat is tame as anything. But no, they're pretty wild. Um, we've just been working with them for uh, five days now. And we're, we're getting like some kind of a, the beginnings of a bond. And their confidence is up. But if you could have seen them... We're on Wednesday. If you could have seen them Friday, Saturday. Um, the only way we can describe them to people... Uh, is is like when you see um, chimps or monkeys going absolutely berserk in a cage, crashing off the walls and just, you know, being crazy. Um, they were absolutely rocking the cage with the slightest spook. Um, they were spooked by us closing the catch on the cage, spooked by the hoover being turned on, uh, any loud noise at all. They were terrified. Um, they're still not 100% comfortable, the, there's still some fear and anxiety going on, but they're really getting there, they're making some fantastic progress. Um, Tanji today uh, actually licked Emma while she was loose in the playpen. She's been taking food, taking nuts, pouching them. Um, Kanzi's got a bit of an injury, she, her toe is bleeding. We're not quite sure how it happened, but uh, I think she's feeling a bit sorry for herself. So she hasn't done too much today. Uh, but yesterday she went in a pouch and let Emma cuddle her in a pouch. Um, and in the playpen today, Tanji was walking all over me. Um, she was climbing on me and sniffing me and reaching up to my face. And she, she's just been great. We're really impressed with her today. <laughs> That's so cute the way she's hanging over the edge like that. Um, so yeah, they have uh, this is their meals for tonight. They've got pasta and some watermelon, some pepper, cucumber, parsley, some salad leaves, uh, carrot, just some bits and bobs in there. And then this is the bowl of there's a a, a manky sprat fish. They've got one each. Um, Nanny Wendy bought it over for them. So they've got um, a stinky fish, see? That they've been nibbling on. i got some blueberries in there. So yeah, they're not going to go hungry. <laughs> water. Um, we have attached a water bottle just out of interest to see. Uh, I've never ever seen a pouched rat drink out of a water bottle. Um, they don't really drink standing water. They've got some in a cup coop here. Just, I just leave a small amount just so that they've got some. But they get most of their liquid from uh, the, the fruit and uh, moisture in their diet. They don't tend to really drink too much. So I always make sure that they've got clean water available, uh, whether they use it or not. But, um, you don't often see pouch traps drinking. So, yeah, that's our little starter setup for now. Look forward to being able to show you their full setup when uh, we've got some kind of bond with them and we're able to reach in the cage, pick them up, get them out for exercise. Um, when we're at that stage, it'll be great. Um, if anyone watching has any questions at all, drop them in the comments below. And we'll we'll always um, get to them when we can. So that's Tanji and Kanzi for now. Thanks for watching.